Okay, let's get started here. <clears throat> I'm gonna feed some snakes tonight. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a feeding video. Um, figured there's some of you like would like to see me feed some of my snakes, but uh, uh, this is just a regular, a weekly thing for me. I try to feed uh, on the on the mon Monday or Tuesday. That way, towards the end of the week, uh, if I've got some visitors, visitors coming over to see the snakes, everything's going to be, uh, all the food's going to be settled down by the following week or the, the following weekend. But um, <clears throat> when I feed, uh, some of my tools I use, I've got a couple hooks here. All this stuff's from Animal Equipment by Stoney. Got a, it's a five foot uh, poly feeding, uh, feeding hook or a, a poly hook. And then I've got a smaller size, the four foot hook, and then my tongs, the three foot feeding tongs. Um, <clears throat> I've got to be pretty careful feeding some of these reed ticks. I'm going to feed live tonight, so about half and half. I've got several rabbits, um, a couple rats, and then a lot of frozen thawed. Um, so I know some of these rabbits are going to look nice and cute, but uh, just what I do, I feed live. Some, some of my stuff I feed live, not everything, but uh, these rabbits are definitely not pets. They wouldn't make good pets. Um, I raise them from scratch. I've got a little rabbit breeding operation out back. I've probably got, I think, I've got 10 rabbit hutches right now and around um, 25 females breeding on a regular basis. So my last batch of rabbits, the babies are about about five weeks old now. I've got, I think, 85 of those. So also downstairs, I breed rats as well. I don't know how many rats I've got, a ton of them. Uh, probably in the 600, 700 range. But uh, um, tonight, what I'm going to feed is uh, I've got about three large live rats, um, one medium frozen thawed, one large frozen thawed, and 14 3XLs that are frozen thawed. I've got them here in this bucket. Um, usually when I thaw my rats out, I'll take them out, uh, <clears throat> out of the fridge, refrigerator, out of the freezer, two or three days beforehand. I'll leave them out, I'll, let, I'll lay them outside or in the basement on the table and then uh, overnight for one day, let them kind of thaw out a little bit and then I'll put them in the refrigerator and let them finish their thawing out and then the day I do it, I'll throw them in a bucket, change the water out, just, and put all the rats in a bucket, put hot water in there, and then I'll have to change the water out a couple times because it, it will chill the water down, so I usually stick my hand in there and stir it up, and then uh, dump the water out, put more hot water in there, but um, got some pretty good sized rabbit, I don't know how much these things weigh, they're probably in the 8 to, eight to 10 pound size, these aren't pets. So, so don't get it twisted when people see these things. They're cute and furry, but they're not pets. They're feeders. They're meat rabbits. I don't think they'd be good pets. But anyway, we're going to get started here. I'll probably start off with my retics. They're going to get... Um, so, yeah, we'll have, I think, four... Four big rabbits, one smaller one. So, and when I'm feeding these things, uh, you gotta watch them. You gotta be really careful. If you want feeding time, that's when you have to be really careful because they're in, they're already in the mode. And they can smell the food. So, if I open this cage up. Likely he's gonna sh he's gonna shoot right on out. So, I gotta be ready for it. The only problem with being in such a small room is such close quarters is this snake can easily come out of the cage four to five feet within the, you know, in the blink of an eye if he wanted to. So usually when I go to toss a rabbit and a live rabbit and he's, or even frozen thawed rats or whatever it is, I try to get the snake to go to the other side and distract him. And then, or which, whichever side his head's on, I'll, I'll throw the feeder item in on the other side. So I'll crack the door open just enough toss the rabbit in there a rat and then slam it shut because once the food's in there it's game on and if they get a hold of you they're not going to let go 
That's the thing when it, with a, a, a feeding response. A snake will bite and they will not let go. So the more you shake and the more you fight them, the more they're going to coil up on you. So both these, these two uh, three ticks down here, this is a golden child. That's a white-faced tiger. Um, since I've gotten them, I've had them for about a year and a half, two years. I'd say they've probably gained about 30 pounds. So I've cut them back on their food quite a bit. Every about, I think I feed every feed them every two weeks, every two to three weeks, and they get a, a pretty good size item, like the uh, eight-pound rabbits. So we'll get started. Let me get this zoomed in. Once again, I want to remind you guys, I'm feeding live, so if you want to see this, you might want to turn this video on. So this snake's head right here, you would not want to open this cage up on this side he is ready to go if you do you're just asking for it you're asking for a major malfunction so I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot this rabbit in over here on the on the left side of the cage it's no joke when you feed these things you got to be ready for it had I have opened the cage up on the right side he to come right out instantly and he wouldn't have time to move. So this guy's head is over here. So I'm gonna put the rabbit in on this side. Hopefully he'll take it. Here he comes. Okay, that's number two. 